Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerkey and welcome to another house tour. Now, I'm not sure why I've been doing more house tours and speed builds, maybe because I just kind of build in my own time and then I really want to show my creations to you. So this is actually an apartment that I built and I called it the penthouse because I figured it might be a perfect penthouse to place in the apartments in city living when that comes out soon. So I'm already, I'm already thinking about that. Very excited for the new expansion pack. So I'll go ahead and start this tour of my one bedroom, one bathroom penthouse. Now, I didn't really do any landscaping at all. Um, I mean, I guess a tiny, tiny bit if you count this little path and these planters on either side of the door. Um, on this side, we do have a another plant that sort of just climbs up the wall, which is pretty cool. And then in front of the window, which is the bedroom, you could kind of see in there already, I put a couple of pretty little bushes with some purple flowers. But that that's the extent of my landscaping. I know I need to work on that some more, but well, the inside is cute. So ignore, ignore the outside for now. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go right through these front double doors right here and we're greeted immediately with the kitchen. And I was actually talking about this in another build that I did. I normally don't have the kitchen be the first thing when you come in. You do see that a lot with like much, much older homes. And I, I, I guess, I didn't really think about it, but you also see it with very new modern apartments. Uh, it's not uncommon to be greeted by the kitchen right away when you first come in. So I thought I would go ahead and do that. And this kitchen has more blues, silvers, gray tones. So it's it's still light, but it's it's also very modern and has some of these like stainless steel appliances in here. Um, over on this side, well, we have, let me get a better angle for you. There we go. We have a little bit of counter space right next to the stove and the fridge. And then there are also cabinets with plenty of lighting in here. I love when the houses are nice and open. And I do also have a couple of windows here. I wanted to create, I always want to create an open space in between the counters and the dining room, but for whatever reason, there's, I don't think there's a way of doing it. Maybe there is. I don't know, but <laughs> I just put windows here. So maybe, uh, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe there's a better way of doing that. But um, over on the side are some little lighting fixtures that almost look like wall art in themselves. And then we have the free floating counter here with the sink, the kitchen sink. And these little, um, they look like placemats. They're actually the, um, what do you call them? They're like drinks. So you can actually create drinks on them for your Sims, but I thought, I always think they look like little placemats. So that's why I stuck them there. And then of course the little bar stools you saw when we first came in and a little container of oranges. <laughs> All right. So going, before we go into the living room, right down this steep, this, um, not steep, what am I trying to say? Narrow, <laughs> this narrow little hallway, it takes us right into the dining room. And I'm so proud of this dining room. I love it. When I first started building this penthouse, I wanted to keep it extremely modern and stick to mostly white colors, but I don't know, it's a little bit boring. So I figured I would inject some more classic elements, more traditional elements. So we do have a more traditional rug, the mirror, um, the wall sconces, but you know, the windows are still modern and the brick, the exposed brick also brings sort of a, an industrial touch to the home. And then over on this side, we have a little shelf thingy <laughs> with some coffee and tea. And I don't know what that's supposed to be, but I thought it was really cute. And I love these ghost chairs. I think they are like the epitome of modern furniture. <laughs> so we have this beautiful glass dining table with a pop of color with the flowers right in the middle. And then through, um, through these windows, you could see right into the kitchen. I guess maybe you could think of them as little serving windows. I'm not sure, but that's the living room. And now on to, or sorry, that's the dining room. What am I saying? Now on to the living room. And we have my Sim here. Her name is Shelly. Um, she was, I think she was mostly randomly generated, but I just, I changed a few features. Oh man, her eyes are closed. That's not very flattering. Um, <laughs> I obviously gave her pink hair because I love pink hair, but there she is on the couch actually going to go ahead and play here for you guys so you can see her a little better. There she is. She has beautiful big blue eyes, gorgeous pink hair, and whoop, she's getting up and walking away. <laughs> we'll let her go walk around and do what she wants. The welcome wagon will probably appear here very shortly. Um, but there is some wall art here and here. There's two sets of double doors. One goes into a studio and one goes into the bedroom. But before we go there, let's take a closer look at the living room. Uh, these big, beautiful windows. Again, you can see the 
the little planters I put outside just to bring some of some more greenery to the home since I didn't do a whole lot of landscaping. Um, and of course, here is our, our TV, not a wall mounted TV. I usually do wall mounted, but this one's just sitting on the desk or the little console table. And then the coffee table has just some books and candles, keeping it nice and simple. Um, oh, she's sitting back on the couch again. She loves her TV. <laughs> she's so cute. I really like her. I think she's beautiful. And I will probably, I don't know, I'll figure out a way to use her in a Let's Play, probably. Um, through these double doors is her studio, and she is an artist. So with the new City Living expansion, you're going to be able to have an artist studio, I believe. So this would be as I mentioned earlier, a great um, a great penthouse to just put put right there on top of the apartments for your artist. And so she has a beautiful I IKEA inspired desk right here um, with a very modern computer. It's lo a little bit of flowers for some decoration and a sleek little chair. And then over on this side is a reading nook. So we have a comfy little couch. It almost looks like it could be an outdoor couch because of the wicker. Is that supposed to be wicker? I'm not sure, but it is right in front of a beautiful window, so again, it's kind of pulling some of the outside inside, and let's see, well, <laughs> the little coffee table has some, some greenery inside of it too. I definitely wanted to keep the inside looking alive with all of the plants, and if it is going to be placed as a penthouse in the apartment, um, you definitely want to be able to have some of the outdoors inside since you're not necessarily going to have a large backyard and such, but of course you can place this anywhere you like. You can place it just on a regular lot and create a big beautiful backyard. So in this little reading corner, of course, we have a bookshelf with some candles, books, other little knickknacks. I uh, just realized the candles look like they're floating in midair. I guess I should fix that. <laughs> and then there's some more candles and books and, and random stuff, flowers, all the way on top of the bookshelf. Over on this side is the actual artist studio. So, of course, we have to have the painting easel so that she can make all of her creations. And then over here is the storage. So you can see she's been pretty busy painting. <laughs> just kidding. That comes stuck like that no matter what. <laughs> um, over on this side is just another little console table, probably where she keeps her paints and brushes and things like that. And, of course, some more books. She definitely loves to read. And back out through these double doors, we'll go ahead and show you the master bedroom, which is the only bedroom, and the ensuite bathroom. So here's the master bedroom, and right away we are faced with this pink and gray bed. This is one of my favorite beds in the game. I like the other one that has more of the tufted pillows, uh, usually a little bit better, but I thought this one looked really cute here. And then there's just a couple of side tables with some more greenery and oils and perfumes. Very calming and relaxing bedroom, but then you have the uh, the star mirror that lights up right behind the headboard. Over on this side, this is where you can see the cute little purple flowers that I placed outside. And back here is another little just reading nook. Again, this the Sim loves to read, so of course she needs a little zen corner in her bedroom for reading and relaxing as well. Over on this side of the bedroom, we have a nice dark blue wardrobe so that she can get changed and get dressed and all that fun stuff, and some candles, some candles on the wall. I think this wallpaper is really fun as well. So through this door, of course, is the final room, and this is the bathroom. <laughs> All right, so as soon as you come in, you can see the counter, and I kept it, again, there, this house is very modern with a touch of industrial and a touch of more traditional elements, um, but this bathroom kind of mixes everything all together with these sort of steel industrial counters for the sink. Uh, there is some, well, a plant, the beautiful little soap in the dish, which is my favorite soap in the game, and, well, <laughs> it's actually only two soaps, but it's just, it's one of my favorite items in the game. Some towels, fresh freshly folded clean towels and a little medicine cabinet. Over on the side we have more greenery with a, a nice tall plant and there is a shorter plant over here. Uh, on this side we have the toilet with a nice, <laughs> a nice painting right on top and this little storage unit that has some candles and towels and just keeps everything nice and cozy in here. All of the essentials are on display so they have to be kept clean of course. And of course, by putting this little decorative shelf in between the toilet and the door, it just adds a little bit more privacy in here. And then over on this side is the shower. There is no tub in this build, but there is a nice shower with some more 
some more little plants up there. <laughs> and the colors of this bathroom I thought were very, very calming and soothing. So that is all of the rooms. I, I usually do my favorite shot for you guys in some of the homes that I tour that I haven't built, but I thought why not do it in one of the homes that I have built too. So here it is. This is my favorite shot. I think the, the bed with the star mirror and the nice big windows just is a really cool, fun place to come and relax and sleep and read and yeah, all, all that stuff. <laughs> um, also, where I happen to place this, you have a beautiful, beautiful view of the bridge. We've got a sim out there jogging, staying nice and fit and healthy. And of course, the river or pond, or I'm not sure what you want to call that, but <laughs> you've got the waterway over there. So just going to quickly zoom back through so you could see where we started. And here is Shelly in the kitchen cleaning some dishes <laughs> and I will do a floor plan for you next. All right, so here is our floor shot. Of course, this is just a single story home. As soon as you come in the front entrance down on the bottom left, we're greeted with the nice large kitchen island. And then behind the kitchen, we have the dining room. Uh, right in the middle, we have the living room and the artist studio. And then of course, towards the right, we have the large Ba uh, the large bedroom and, and the large bathroom as well. So there you have it. There is my penthouse. And I just realized, I don't know if it makes a big difference or not, but I've been calling my sim Shelly. Actually, her name is Michaela Shelly. I just wanted to make that clear. Her first name is Michaela. So yeah, you might see Michaela pop up in one of my Let's Plays coming up. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want me to tour one of your homes or if you would like to do a collab with me, all you have to do is hit me up on any of the social medias. You can find me under Simricky. Of course, everything is listed in the description below as well. But basically, you know where to find me. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Google+, YouTube, or email me at thesimmerkey at gmail.com. Thank you again so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss a video, and I will see you next time. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!